Hmm. I mean, every time I come back, I'm slightly disappointed that there isn't, like, a little, um, branch off. And just, like, another side, like, a little side quest. You save Therese, you get this side quest. You save Jeanette, you get this side quest. You know, that kind of thing. Ah, well. Personal view. Right, that's just my thought. Now, where am I? What was I doing? Can I have a chat with Tongue? But I don't think... Maybe you could ask him if he's lost the disc, and then we can try and give it to him. I may have already tried this. Already been in there. That was where cars blew up in my face. Hello. What do you need? Got a few questions. Like what? Uh, no. Sorry. Doesn't look like I've got the options for that. Which is kind of. I've got an item that's completely useless. Well, I think was it this one where they kind of rushed it out a bit, or well, they spent a long time trying to do things and then had to cut things out. Or is that a different game entirely? I remember reading that there was a game... Done by... Was it one done by Troika? May have been... No. No. My brain... No. I don't know what the game was. I may be horribly incorrect. Um... No. 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 Gone. No, because there was a game, I'm sure, I can't remember who it was, something to do with Activision. I think Activision were involved in this. Where they... They had to, they had to get it out. So they pushed it out. Oh, it may have been Temple of Elemental Evil. There we go. And um, they, they pushed it out. Um, and it just kind of a kind of feature creep. And then they did another one. and No, did another one? No. No, come on, brain. Um, and so th there were a lot of things kind of cut out. And you, you, where was that even coming from? Was that Therese and Jeanette? Because it feels like that kind of choice, for lack of a better word, just it doesn't really. It's kind of like huh, emotional punch, but then doesn't really go anywhere. Hello. You might like this. Now this is not your everyday ordinary pop gun. Only a few people ever get their hands on one of these. Take a look. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but I'll definitely take one. Uh, which one was he talking about? Because both of them look very shiny. <laughs> Even if the stair org was lackluster as a weapon, it would still have a lot going for it aesthetically. But this lightweight Austrian submachine gun has proved... Uh, reliable and effective, making it a popular weapon in militaries around the world. A four times scope is attached for improved accuracy. Um, yeah, further. Ooh, wow. Wow. Flamethrowers, in one form or another, have been used since ancient times. Kind of true. Greek fire launched from the catapult. This one propels burning fuel in a several in, in a several foot arc, scorching everything in its path. <laughs> That's very tempting. But it, what would you reload it with? Doesn't seem to have much use. Much things you would use. Um, McCluskey uh, 50 caliber. This heavy gun was originally designed as a sport pistol for target shooting competitions. Due to the intimidating look of this massive 50 cal, it has been adopted as a favourite in movies and on TV shows as the all-purpose big gun. The McCluskey is one of the few gas-operated handguns ever produced and one of the most powerful and, he and heavy pistols available on the market. Um, so that, that, yeah, so that's that's got a high, higher range. That one's harder to shoot because you've got a feet adjustment of minus two. Actually, less damage, but a higher lethality. So I'm guessing it's it's in ge against general people. It's the pistol's better close up because it's only a medium range weapon. At long range, this is better because it can actually hit. But against 
vampires, well, lethality, I think, is important. That's better. And this is just, uh, you die, and, and you burn. I think we'll buy a McCluskey, actually. My inventory's full. Am I only allowed so many weapons? Wow. Right, um, I need more ammunition. Okay, we'll sell the Braddock. Wow, I fit a size limit. We'll buy that. Uh, do I want to keep the Brock? Nah, we'll sell that. I may as well actually, I could sell it. Oh dear. May as well hold on to these other bits for a No, 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 I need ammunition. My Vegas connection paid me a visit this afternoon. Popped his trunk, and what do you know? Had a flamethrower, a few tanks of spare fuel. <laughs> it's yours if you want it. But uh, ain't you flammable? Okay. Aren't most people? Um, no, not really, but thanks. Oh, right, no, okay. Always a pleasure. What's the night's order? Uh, I need some equipment. Yeah, so he's still got the stuff I, I sold him, which is good. I need ammunition. I want the Jaeger Spaz, which I think is the tube feed. No, the gauge shell, the tube feed is for the Utica. Bye, bye. I still have like 12,000. I could just. I could, I could buy a load of different bits of. Oh, wow. A lot of ammo for that. Buy a load of that. Um, will I use it? Who knows? Not I, certainly. But looks good. Hmm. Stare. The thing is. No. I think I'll wait and hold it for, on the um, flamethrower until I get to a point where I think I'm going to be facing vampires. Because there's no point in buying it before I need it. Because I think, although it does a lot of damage. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll go into this apartment, we'll listen to the dead of night, and then I think we will call it there, having done a, having finished off the Giovanni Mansion, sorted out a few different sidey things. What are, what's the news? Oh, it's just that. Newspaper. Obviously, news person, the newspaper person doesn't pop round that often. Hello. Terrorized them for weeks and is thought to be responsible for the mysterious deaths of several village children. Dear man. The dear man is reported as a seven-foot creature with horns that ambushes villagers at night. New Delhi has also been host to the Monkey Man, the Bear Man, and the killer UFOs, all of which were later dismissed as mass hysteria. Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The <laughs> jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Shortly after this exchange, there was a garbled shout by the co-pilot and finally radio silence. <coughs> Military officials have dispatched several <coughs> units to the area to search for the crew and the missing aircraft. The names of the pilots are being withheld until their status can be confirmed. Makes the sense. The story of the Incarn sarcophagus took an even more bizarre turn when Professor Andrews Johansson went missing from his hotel room earlier today. Right. The evidence of a struggle in the professor's room at the Empire Hotel indicate to investigators that Johansson was abducted. Johansson's family has received no demands yet, and there is speculation that his disappearance and the earlier theft of the Incarn sarcophagus are related. Right. Police officials have gone on record as saying it's too early to confirm or deny any possibilities regarding this case. A shootout at a popular Chinatown underground club tonight left several dead and wounded after shots were exchanged between a local gang and an unidentified assailant. The club, Glaze, was a known hangout for one of Chinatown's largest street gangs, but was also a popular hangout for local club kids. One witness stated that the lone assailant acted like, quote, something out of an action movie. I couldn't believe one person could do that, end quote. Police suspect a rival gang may be behind tonight's final. Wasn't me. I did stealth. New Delhi, India, stormed a policeman to death. After right. That's interesting. I I'm guessing that's kind of assumed that you're going to end up in a shootout, but we managed to avoid it. So, nah. Nah. Right. What does Dev have to say to us? Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. 
In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Dev of Night on KTRK. Indeed, we are. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. Oh, is this in, is not changed? Many more drawings. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some release? Number three. Number three, you're speaking to me. Oh, uh, I was hoping for a new one. Boo! Boo! Radio! Boo! Mm. Oh well. As I said, that is the end of this session. So next time, I think we will press the right button. Um, which I know I can still do it from there. We have to go and get uh, Johansson. Which is uh, our only real quests left. Beckett wants us to find Professor Johansson, who is being held by the Society of Leopold. You'll need to find a way. We'll need to find a way to get inside and locate him. So I'm guessing that's something from the cab, which I didn't look when I actually came down here to Santa Monica. So I'm guessing we'll go to the cab. We're gonna head. Is there something up there? Ooh, magazines. I can't look at the magazines. Um, we're heading to the cab. Who will then take us to the Society of Leopold, where we will sneak in and probably end up in a massive shootout because that's my level of stealth. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.